back in Autumn Towers. Last visit of the year. Park closes in about two weeks for the season. Um, it's midterm in Scotland. It's not midterm in England, so I'm hoping it's quiet. The weather looks horrific though, so I have no idea what that's going to be like. Um, there are scare mazes, although my kids are wimps, so I don't know if we're going to do any of those. And there was some news yesterday about some rides that aren't coming back next year, so we'll talk about that. Let's get inside and see what this place is like. So, the Retro Squad. They announced yesterday that they leave at fireworks and they're not coming back next year. Question is, what does that actually mean? Like, they came in 2020 when COVID restrictions were a thing and you couldn't do indoor rides, so they helped increase capacity. They've stayed for four seasons, which, four seasons, which a lot of people think is far too long, uh, but they are now leaving. Question is, is the park gonna actually invest and put some permanent flats in? They're spend, they've spent a fortune on Curse of All Manor. They're redoing Nemesis right now. We've got Project Horizon. Um, so do they have the money to put in a new permanent flat? Or are they just taking these away and we're gonna be left with the capacity we used to have? Um, I really hope they bring something permanent. Don't know what it would be, but uh, kind of good to see the back of uh, the Retro Squad because they did feel out of place. I mean, they did a good job with the whole making it retro in the 80s and stuff, but they just, they don't really fit in with the rest of the park. So I'm glad to see them back. I'm curious your comments below, what you think they will do you glad to see them go? What do you think they're bringing in next? Are they bringing anything in or is it just a removal? This isn't a great start. So I thought we'd go on Wicker Man. Shut. Went over to Spinball. Shut. We, we've got on Marauder's Mayhem, but Congo River Rapids is shut. Hex is shut. Oh, we know Hex is shut. That's shut all year. Runaway Mine Train is shut. Wicker Man shut. Spinball shut. Rita is shut. Oblivion is shut. A brilliant start to the day, isn't it? I think we're going to go over and get 13 because if the weather is going to get horrific, it's a ride that doesn't work in the rain. So, and it's got a tiny queue, so let's go and get that out of the way first. Wish me luck. Okay, so we timed that one quite well, so we went over to... No, Dark Forest. Dark Forest. Um, we got there and Rita said, five minutes which it was, and then when we got off it, it said 30 minutes, and then 13 said 15 minutes, and when we got off it said 45. So <laughs> we've had our two short queues. Um, things are already starting to climb. Little things like Runaway Mine Train, Carson Old Manor stuff, they're still down at five, so we'll see. We're just gonna wonder and see. It does seem to be quite quiet, which I'm happy about. So as I say, the English midterm is next week. Scottish midterms this week, so that's worked quite well. That's the first time I've seen those rapids run. Been here twice this year. First time I came, the signs or the, the audio said, watch out for the waterfalls. Uh, second time I came, they weren't running, but they're running now and the road isn't running. Typical. Like in the queue here, they've still got the smoke, which I thought would have just been like for the first week and then they stop. Um, and all the little Easter eggs, we've just got the short queue because it's really quiet. But they've got loads of tombstones with Easter eggs to uh, past and present attractions. Curious to see, they've apparently added some new stuff for Halloween. Let's see if I can actually spot any of it. Probably not. <laughs> Side, please. Side. As I predicted, can you tell the difference? I think I saw maybe one extra projection. Um, I've only ridden the ride like three or four times, so I probably wouldn't notice any new bits. I still think there's far too many dark spaces in it though. Uh, but you know, it's a five minute walk, so can't complain. I held it the whole way around. Don't know where we're going next. Let's see. So 
a lot's happened to Nemesis since I was last here. Because when I was last here, it had boarded up and there was nothing. I think they've now got almost all the track. Most of the track, they've started painting all the rusty bits black, so they're obviously getting rid of that rusty aesthetic, which I wonder if that means those fences will get painted too. Um, also, we just had a walk on on Galactica, which was pretty good. There's quite a lot of people here, but it doesn't seem to be super busy. Like, I think we might have a good day and touch wood. It's not started raining yet, so let's hope it stays that way. So, after getting ripped off and spending 50 quid on hot dogs, because they're not cheap, uh, I'm in a sea life, which is always a nice thing to do. It's kind of cool that that's free, it's bizarre that that's free and the dungeons is not. And then went on a Wicker Man, which is still probably one of my favourites. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do next. I thought we were going to do Burial Grounds, but apparently it doesn't open until 5, so we're not doing that. And we're probably, I think we might go and do Spinball or Smiler. Let's see. doing quite well. Um, there are school trips here but it is pretty quiet. Uh, definitely the quietest I've seen Alton Towers. We managed to get on Spinball just as it was reopening and then I just went in the single rider on Smiler and pretty much walked on. So that was good. The weather is now starting to rain but it is three o'clock so we've made it through most of the day without the rain um, and the park's still open for another six hours so I'm sure we'll get plenty more done. Operatives will ensure your security at all times. Due to localized biohazard risk, it is imperative you remain within the containment zone. It's great to see the, uh, the construction of Nemesis. I'm really looking forward to seeing the ride next year. Obviously the ride itself won't change much, but we know there's going to be some surprises. We know the station looks a lot different. We don't know if there's anything different in the ride. Um, we've also now seen the trains. Um, and it's not really long to wait now. I mean, it's October, season ends, and it'll do a lot of the stuff that we won't be allowed to see during close season. And fingers crossed, it opens in uh, March, April when the park reopens in 2024. Hey! Someone turned the lights out. No, I uh, <laughs> went back to the hotel, chilled for a little bit, grabbed some food. I thought I'd come back in, sir, for some night rides. Straight in the guest entrance for the hotel. Galactica, zero queue. Walk on. Uh, and Wicker Man doesn't look too bad and 13 doesn't look too bad. So, a couple of night rides. Uh, this is a very long day. It's great that the park's open until nine, but we've been here since nine. I'm exhausted. Uh, so, as I say, went and chilled. And now, for some rides in the dark. <laughs> Right, if you come here and the park's open late, stay till the end. Night rides are amazing. We just did Wicker Man there, which was significantly faster than it was this morning. I couldn't see a damn thing because it's dark and there was loads of mist. So that was fantastic, although operations in there were pretty... I'm not sure quite what happened, because usually they're pretty good, but the pre-show bit was all backed up and like people were still sneaking out of that pre-show when we got into that pre-show and oh, it was just a mess. I think we're going to try and get... Oh, I can't see in front of me, so it's all smoky. Uh, we're going to try and go on 13, because 
that'll be good in the dark. And then that will probably be nine o'clock. So I'm gonna turn you around and I'll let you see how dark this is. That did not go to plan as soon as I finished recording. I checked the app and 13 and Rita and all the stuff over that side are all closed. Really dark, can you see me? Uh, so we headed back, we got snuck on mine train. Um, last train, so the guy just put it around a few extra times. Um, and then I thought I was going to sneak onto Subterra, came around the corner, it said five minutes, and then it switched to closed. So, anyway, that's my day come to an end. Um, I'll probably do a tiny bit of filming tomorrow, but not very much. I did put up a tips video, so check that out there for your next visit to Alton Towers. Uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. I've been Chris, you've been watching Coaster Dad, I'll see you in the next one. Adios!